Hello all you beautiful people. Hello all you beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel, the Palmetto Travelers. So Mr. Owl, are you ready for your uh, continuing job position? I hope so. We're ready to get this garden started. This is the bed from last year that we used. Um, I've got it cleaned up, pulled some weeds, got a few more to pull, but she's ready to go. Um, probably put down a little bit more uh, soil this year. As you can see, that plant right there, that's an avocado bush. Looks like it's dead, but it's actually, I don't know if you can see it on the other side, it's actually coming back. So I'm pretty happy about that. I got some green onions in the back that you can see in the back there that's coming back up. We're pretty happy about that. So, hey, it's, it's starting to look pretty optimistic. Uh, I'm always cautiously optimistic when it comes to gardening, but hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? So, I've been spending some time in the backyard getting it ready. As you can see, I've got our hummingbird feeder up, ready for the hummingbirds. Got some blue purple Moses right here. I don't know what the name of this is, what this plant is actually called, but uh, this plant came from my wife's side of her family. It belonged to one of her aunts, her aunt Nancy. So we just call this plant Nancy. So y'all say hello to Nancy. But um, the irises and the daffodils are all coming up all along the fence line where I planted them last year. Crepe myrtles are starting to come in. I, I very much realize that it's the uh, beginning of the season, so I'm not fooling myself thinking that we are not going to get any more freezes because that is, it's highly probable that we will. Nevertheless, the... Uh, cherry trees coming in sorry I don't have my uh, gimbal on me so I'm a little bouncy this is my first one of the season and those are my daylilies coming back up everything's nice and clean I've been spending a lot of time in this backyard getting it cleaned and ready for the springtime and the daffodils and the irises along my fence line are coming up the Chinese flower bushes are in full they're coming back in. They had a hard freeze and killed a lot of their blooms, but the uh, got the patio furniture out, as you can see. So, yes, even got the back of the house washed. So, lots of points for me, lots of brownie points for me. Uh, yay. Uh, nevertheless, the yard's looking good. Uh, I did want to ask you guys, especially you professional gardeners, are you a uh, long time experienced gardeners? Uh, if taking wood ash and putting it in the garden, I, I've heard that putting ash in your garden will, will um, raise or lower the pH or make the soil less acidic. But I don't know, what's the best thing? What is y'all's opinion on uh, putting ash in a garden? Is that advisable? I just, uh, Whatever your, whatever your ideas are, please leave them in the comment below. We are just getting really started and uh, hopefully we'll have some more gardening videos here real soon. That's my little aloe vera plant that I just got started a couple years ago. Started Finally starting to grow. Mr. Turtle, keeping an eye on things. Anyway, um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations, I'd sure appreciate it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next video.